All right. Or you can get it on over to Kevin Kiley, who's on the Judiciary Committee, and uh, that's my representative. So um, now I got the town of Auburn, who's going to be blowing his phone lines up. That's where I'm from, Auburn, California, the endurance capital of the world. Great is a great place. But uh, so back to what I was saying. Um, this place is a breeding ground of hate. They got a uh, newspaper in here that they they used to provide for us. It was called The Final Call, and it was from Louis Farrakhan. And it was talk about how the white people are dogs, and how we need to be put, how we need to be put down. And um, it was this guy. It, this is the type of thing that they teach in here. Is this type of um, hate and racism, and it's something that I'm not familiar with. But uh, it's just what they it's just what they do in here. Um, so <clears throat> with that in mind, you know, I talked about how some of our food gets poisoned, how there's always these retaliatory uh, punishments. Um, some of the part of the retaliatory punishments that I received while I came over from CDF to CTF was uh, they started canceling my commissary and they placed me on pre-hearing detention even though I had no write-ups or um, anything of the sort, never got in trouble. It was just I would speak out and I'd write grievances and I would stand up for other people that were in here. And um, so they would do everything in their power that they could to just make it a living hell on me. Um, I had complained about mold that was in my cell and how it was giving me breathing problems. And the medical came to see me. They said, oh, well, you probably have COVID. And they proceeded to put me in a 14 day quarantine in my cell where I complained about mold being. Um, so it's just the, their lack of care, their lack of interest and lack of responsibility uh, to do their job really, really, sh really shines through um, their uniform. And um, what else? Just recently, I can tell you that we had a visit. Uh, I had a visit with Sherry Hafner and David Valentine came in here. And um, we wanted to close out the visit with a prayer. And then Corporal Lee told us that we cannot pray because it might it might uh, offend him. And um, so they're denying us legal or uh, they're denying us religious services. They're denying us our First Amendment right to praise God. And it's just really a, uh, it's just really a shame. I'm yelling out here, I just think that's out. Um, also, I just got a, uh, I just got a grievance signed back from the deputy warden herself, admitting that, uh, I lost, I lost, I did, I missed a legal visit. Now, I've missed over three legal visits. I've almost missed a whole court date while being in here. And they deny me legal calls left and right. So, they're not giving me access to my lawyer, and they're denying me proper, they're just, they're violating my fifth, my sixth, and my 14th amendment right. And then this court system, when you look at what the Proud Boys are going to, or the Oath Keepers, or even me, they're editing these videos, um, and what we've seen in these trials is they're letting edited videos and doctored videos go through and be used to prosecute people. Now that's prosecutorial misconduct and that's uh, tampering with evidence and these the circuit seems to have their thumb on the scale and, and siding with the prosecutors and not looking out for our rights. So these are things that we face um, and that I have no problem going in and speaking up against um, in court. And also if you want to get down to the bottom of Ray Epps and what he did that day is call me in and I can show you the videos that they're trying to suppress. I've got them. And um, so it's just, it's just this constant 
I'm I'm being prosecuted for uh, for speaking out. That's the common theme here. For having a voice is why I'm being punished. And I'll just tell you right now, they're not going to break me. But as soon as they got me, as soon as they thought that they had somebody, oh, who's got a minor criminal record, no felonies on his record at all, whatsoever, they go, oh, well, this guy will probably fold and we'll swap him for Ray Epps. For everything Ray Epps did that day, we'll put him in his place. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not folding and I'm not breaking. And I got the goods on Ray Epps. So, Ray Epps, be prepared to show up on April 17th to my trial because your ass is mine, buddy. And so I want Jim Jordan and Kevin Kiley to please listen to this. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of a lot of stuff that I got going on and I got the receipts for. Everything I'm talking about, I got the receipts. So call me up. Please get a hold of my lawyer, Joe Allen from Missouri. And let's get down to business because we are not we are not getting equal protection under the law. We are not getting our due process. And um, we are being, our, our Eighth Amendment is being violated in here. I've been tortured. I've been, I was told that I didn't have to take a COVID test and that I would not be locked down in my cell. I didn't take a COVID test. They locked me down in my cell for over 14 days without a shower, without being able to heat up food, while other people were let out. They didn't take a COVID test. They were let out. They were just singled me out and they punished me and I got the receipts for it and it's not okay. It's not okay. It's cruel and unusual punishment. It's psychological warfare. It's emotionally disturbing. And these men that come through here, no wonder they're taking signals because the federal government is belligerent and their full force and weight is bearing down on these people's necks. And they're scared and they want to go home and they're taking things under duress. So I thank you for listening to what I have to say. And I do realize that it's loud out there and some people just don't have a life and don't have a heart and maybe they just need to find Jesus. So we'll pray for that person. Um, hopefully that you find Jesus and uh, you come to the truth and that uh, you see that he loves you too. And uh, we could all work together in unity. Um, it's too bad that you want destruction, but I want nothing great for you or this country. And I all want us to stand together, and I love you guys out there. And thank you so much for supporting us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, brother. I love you too. Sean, 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 Sean. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.